Hey, so I'm going to give you a minute to subscribe. Click that button. It says literally like subscribe. It's going to be like down here below. Don't forget to subscribe because most of y'all watching are not subscribed yet. So you might as well just click that subscribe button. I'm pretty much letting you know. I'm putting you on game. Letting you know all the things that I have received that I probably will never buy again because it's just not good. <laughs> now My name is Sandy Esprit. I'm a content creator. I love to talk beauty, lifestyle, hair care. That's my jam. That's my thing. That's my passion. I love to help people. So hopefully this will help you save your this like save your coin this year. Not everything that you see, you need to go get. Okay, so I receive stuff, whether it be like the Sephora gifting samples, or it would be um, stuff that I received in PR, or uh, stuff that like I bought. It's it's a mixed bag. Let's just get into this whole shebang, all right? I'm gonna start with the stuff that I've received from Sephora uh, during the birthday. I think it's like, you know how they give you gifts? If you purchase something, they give you like a sample. So I got this NARS bronzer in shade Laguna. And, um, okay, let's start with the fact that this thing is like really hard to open. Like, I, I, y'all don't know how long I've been fighting to, to, to open this thing. And this is a sample that they sent. And this, this is the shade that I got. This is a bronzer. Bronzer? Melanin. So you can imagine how disappointed I, w I was when I opened it and realized that this, this was what it was. But I was like, you know what, girl, don't worry about it. It's clearly not going to be a bronzer because it's, it's too light. So I was like, let me see if it could work as an eyeshadow. But the thing is, it's, can you even see that? Like, where is it? Like, I can't even use it to do anything. Bronzers have pigment, but in a sheer way, because it's supposed to just bronze your skin. I can't even use this to like bronze my eyes because it just disappears. Like, it, it just, it's like literally useless. This color is useless. The pigment is not there. I don't know what kind of a bronzer this is. This is a, a teachable moment that, you know, when Sephora sends out y'all, like Sephora, I love you guys. And I'm always going to be shopping there because one, I want my points. And two, you guys make it convenient for me to get, you know, that, those items that I like. But those samples, we got to, we got to work on our inclusivity like our shade inclusion that that's not happening here and if it's not working for me who who are these samples for i, I yeah i don't like it laura mercier has been on game the translucent loose powder has been revolutionary to say the least when it first came on the market everybody and their mama was going out and buying it i understand like it says translucent it's translucent it sets, it stays put. So I was really excited when I got the Laura Mercier and it was the eye, what is it called? Strapless, this is strapless caviar stick eye color. So it's their eye color stick. And I got this again from Sephora as a sample. Behold my um, surprise when this is the color that it gets. And then once you go ahead and blend that out, you just are left with like, Shimmer. That's not going to work because if I'm going to use some kind of a eyeshadow on my skin, I want to see the pigment. So if you're giving me copper, I want to see copper, not shimmer. So the strapless caviar stick for me was a no. I really wanted to like it. I used it more than once. So again, Sephora. Um, or the distributors, maybe it's not Sephora, maybe it's NARS and Laura, maybe NARS and Laura Mercier when you give out your samples. You probably should think of like dialing it back from the whole one size fits all thing because it's not, it's not working. And that it's a gamble, but I think that our distribution people or our brand reps need to keep into consideration that I want me, a black girl, would like to have options. And speaking of things that just don't make sense for me, is the Ilya. This one I got 
last month. It was my birthday. This is the at last multi stick. So I'm like, okay, multi stick. This is the color of the multi stick. I'm like, okay, this is a pretty cute color. I'm assuming that I'm going to be able to use this in more ways than one. So most likely I should be able to use it on my cheek, my eyes, my lips. This is super drying. Let's start with that. I can't use that on my lips. It's mad drying. I don't like it. This is what I get. This is when I apply like force, which would be cute if it would stick around. Now let's rub that out because you know it's going to get rubbed out. Where'd it go? Barely anything. Literally no pigment whatsoever. It lacks pigment. And I guess if you are fair, like anybody who's lighter than me, I get it. You're going to be like, okay, it gives a nice flush of pink where you can, you know, um, it appears as though you just came outside, you know, this is not it. I don't like it. I love the Ilya mascara. You know, there are other things that these other brands do great. I loved it. I love that there was a mascara that came with it because I would have been so annoyed and done with Ilya Beauty. But the mascara, the Limitless Lash, what? Yes, I'm getting that mascara, but that multi-stick sucks. I don't like it. That's it for the Sephora giftings that were a huge disappointment. I'm moving on to some of the PR items that I have received that I'm mostly never going to buy again. First off would be the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I, don't get it twisted, I love this primer. See how much I've used? Hit in the pan. I'm most likely not going to buy it again. You know why? Because, I don't know if you can see, but there's this white, you know, base that it leaves on my face, which has a tendency to leave my uh, foundation looking pretty ashy. And I don't like that. I don't want the pigment or my melanin to be diluted or to look like I'm fading away. And um, honestly, that's the only reason why I wouldn't buy it again. Aside from that, it is a very good, very, very, very good primer. Don't use too much of it if you're melanated because chances are it's just not, it's not, it's not, it's not going to give. And that's literally the same issue that I have with the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer. Great primer. But I think we've evolved past the um, stage of the white base. Come on now, focus, focus, let's focus. It would look great, except this should not be the base of the canvas that my final, my eyeshadow needs to work off of. That ashiness there, that's not melanin friendly. That's the base of ashiness. That's the foundation that throws off an entire pigment. That's the foundation for wonky color. That's the foundation for ashy skin. So again, these are items that like, I have it, I use it, they're great for now because that's what I have right now. But am I going to spend my money and get it? Nah, most likely not. So these are some of the items. No, let's start with, yeah, PR. Let's do PR. So I got the Florence by Mills. This is the Mellow Mills. This is a lip gloss. I don't know why I still have it. This ain't my color. That's not for me. Where did it go? Like on the models, looks great, but that ain't my shade. That's not for me. You can't see it. It's supposed to be this bubble, bubblegum pink. For me to get bubblegum pink to even show up on my lips, I got to put foundation on and actually get a pink lipstick of some kind or uh, Pat McGrath. Florence Man Mills has tons of great skincare and cosmetic items. You can get it at a drugstore, but this lip gloss honestly is just not for me. And that's how I felt with the NYX lip gloss. This is everything. I don't even know why I got it. I think I got it. Like I bought it and I really think I only bought it because one, it was cheap and I really liked I really liked the hashtag, this is everything. Um, but aside from that, it's, it's not, it's, it's really not. It's a lip oil um, that's not really giving lip oil treatment. I, I'd rather spend it on the LYS Beauty lip oil treatment. Items that I received in PR, and I'm starting to get into the whole falsies lash game. Um, the Ardell water um, what is this? This is the Aqua Lashes, and this is one of those you don't need anything other than some water. This is my pet peeve with Ardell Beauty. I love, I love the way their lashes look. I absolutely love the way their lashes look on me. One, this was really hard to work with. No lie. Um, because I didn't know how much water I needed. It says dip and apply, but the thing is like, you're waiting for the stupid thing to get like tacky so you can apply it on your, your skin. And now it's like, oh snap, water. Like unless you're using waterproof makeup, this does not, this is going to give me fingerprints. This is going to give me melted makeup. This is going to give me makeup all over the place. This is going to be like, this is just not makeup friendly in my opinion. 
Also, the bands hurt my eyes. I absolutely can't stand using these lashes because they are so stiff and it hurts. Um, I think I used this one here once for a campaign and this one is still brand new. I just don't have it in me to even try again. No. This thing here, I really feel is like mad overrated. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Cryo Mask, Cryo Recovery Mask. So it has like these beads and you put it in the fridge. Has like these spokes here. Put it over your face like that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have like a picture that I can show y'all that's gonna be on the side here. This is legit overrated. It's cold. It, it's cold, okay? It's a cold mask. I live in Canada. If I wanted something cold, if I wanted ice on my face, I'd go outside. I don't get it. I really don't. It's supposed to take the puff away. You don't see puff because it's makeup. It does a filter. Like, y'all, my face, like the puff is gone because of a filter. Overrated. It's cute though. You're better off using either of those cryo facial balls, the cryo globes, or a gua sha. Way better off using a gua sha. More relaxing to use a gua sha and it's not cold. And I got one last item because of uh, hair care. And so this is probably gonna make the hair care uh, real just because it's a hair care item. This is the Design Me um, Bounce Me, what is it, the Curl Balm. And this, I used it, I really wanted to like it. Um, it's disappointing. I find that it doesn't really do much for the hair except clump the hair together. It's a styling cream that I just didn't like. It was really sticky, it was really crunchy, it felt like my hair was getting dehydrated when I put this on. But yeah, this was a complete fail for me. I would not, would never buy this again. I really wanted to like it, really, really gave it a chance. So this is my list of the things that I really don't recommend that you get. Save your money. I hope you enjoyed this list. Uh, don't forget to click like, subscribe, comment down below if these are the th kinds of videos that you enjoy. And I will see you in the next video. Ciao for now.